Okay, hello folks. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Just my little speech for you again. Remember, this is a moment in time. This is not forever. So be safe and enjoy some downtime. And uh, as you can see, we're sitting outside. It's a beautiful warm day. We're gonna get a bit of noise behind us every now and then, maybe a car or two. But we're gonna do another little special. Today I'm with a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine. His name is Jose Lara and uh, better known as Pachuca Jose. How are you today, Jose? Doing great, Ray. How are you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Beautiful blue sky. Yeah, it's a wonderful day. Yeah, it is. So we're going to have one of our little chats. Um, we've done a couple of these things together. I guess start off, um, where are you from? Were you born in Los Angeles? No, I'm originally born in Salvador. Salvador. Okay. Out there in Central America. Some people know where Salvador is, but um, yeah, I was born in Salvador. I came to LA um, at the age of 12, 13. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, not too long ago. So, <laughs> about, <laughs> about 100 years ago. <laughs> so you went to school in El Salvador? Yeah, I went to school. I, I, when I came here, I, I, I went to um, junior high school. Okay. The sixth grade, seventh grade. All right. Yeah. Okay, so um, you're known around the world as Pachuca Jose. Yes, sir. Um, we, did, um, we did the album that we released how long ago? How long do you think ago it was? I think we released that about 10 years ago. Wow. I, I got lazy or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, since then, we've we put out the 45, of course, which did, yeah, yeah, that's did right. very well. And yeah. then some shifts with the band for a little while, changing the band, the lineup yeah. around a little bit, you know? Because if, you, if you're not familiar with Jose stuff, Jose has a huge band. Goes from what, six to eight or nine people? There was, there was a time where I had 11 guys. Wow. And, uh, yeah, so it's been up and down. So. Yeah. So maybe today we'll start off pretty quickly if Jose is okay with it. Yeah. Um, what What would you do first? Well, you know what? Um, um, first of all, I want to thank you for the opportunity to allow <laughs> me to be here. And thank God for allowing me to be here. Thank you, Rev, for the in invitation. Um, my wife has been trying to get me to do this for a while, but I, I keep very busy, even though what's going on right now. Uh, um, I stay busy doing projects and, and uh, but because of the situation right now, I decided, you know what, I, I um, there's many things that uh, that I came to realize, you know, and one of the things is to be grateful to have life. A lot of people dying left and right, you know, um, mm -hmm. and so I guess one of my ways to just give thanks is just to do a gospel song. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I love I love gospel, you know. Uh, I don't just sing it just to sing it I sing it because I'm really grateful to the Lord and you know sometimes I it's funny sometimes how songs come they, sometimes I I could sit down and try to write a song and it don't come sometimes I'm hearing something and, and the words come and it's just and sometimes I get a partial song and then I have to finish it later sometimes it takes years but anyways this song I I Get the lyrics, but you probably heard this one before. Um, but anyways, it goes something like this. Oh Lord, how I see the heavens, how they declare. Oh Lord, they display your wonder that's everywhere. Oh, how I hear your voice like a mighty thunder Descended throughout the heavens, so oh, what a wonder Oh, how I love you so I love forever I will always give thanks unto thee, Lord With all my heart, oh Lord Oh, how I love you so and your love so tender I will always give thanks unto the Lord With all my heart and soul Oh Lord How I feel your touch in this heart of mine Oh Lord In my darkest hour your brother shine and when I weep at night and I'm filled with sorrow Joy comes to me in the morning I can face tomorrow 
Oh, how I love you so And you will glow forever I will always give thanks unto thee, Lord With all my heart and soul Oh, I love you so You're so mighty and tender I will always give thanks unto thee, Lord With all my heart, oh Lord short song wonderful <clears throat> you know uh, I've collected gospel music for yeah, almost yeah, my whole life I mentioned that a while back yeah I'm a, a big fan of gospel music now for me um, I have not found the love of God but yeah. um, I love gospel music because I love soul music yeah and to hear anyone sing about the love of anything to me is is, is really really good so right. I know that you, you you have found God and it's a very strong thing in your life yeah yeah, you know, <clears throat> I, I think all my life I was looking for something, and um, I didn't know it was the love of God, or you know, um, uh, uh, you know, my mind was in other different places, you know, and I think for me, um, it, it, I realized one thing, you know, it's it's not that I found him because he was never lost; <laughs> I was the <laughs> one that was lost. <laughs> He found me. It's not like he either, like he didn't know where I was either, you know. Um, it's, you know, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, <clears throat> Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens, I will come in. And um, and I think that's what I did. I, I opened my door. And, and it didn't come on my timing. It came on my worst timing, you know. And and sometimes you think, you know, that that worst timing for me was actually... God's perfect timing, and and that's when things changed for me, you know. And I don't know if you probably remember me when mm -hmm. I used to get loaded, you know, know. for many years. And uh, but uh, you know, that came to an end one day, and um, a new chapter began. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I've I've known you a long time. And yeah. I knew yeah. you before before yeah. you found God, yeah. and uh, you're a much happier man. Now. Yeah, yeah. Much happier man. Which you know, a lot of you know finding God is is you know. Like, I started going to church, and it don't, don't mean that I'm better than than anybody that that was doing what I was doing. I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm still learning, you know, but I, I just, uh, I'm in a different chapter of my life, and, and I'm still learning, I'm still making mistakes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And also, you're a recently married man. Yes. Yeah, which is got, great. Got married a year ago, a little over a year ago. I yeah. remember. A beautiful wife. Where's your yeah. wife live at the moment? My, my wife is in uh, France, you know. We had some difficulty uh, about four years ago, trials that came, you know, in uh, opposition, like like we all have it, right? We all have a position, and uh, she hasn't been here for, for a while. And uh, But, uh, you know, it's funny, right before the uh, COVID-19 COVID uh, started, I was in France. I was with my wife, and uh, I came back just a week before they closed the borders. Okay, good. So you, you could have ended up being yeah. trapped in France. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Eating French baguettes. <laughs> huh? Yeah, exactly. Driving a yeah. bicycle with onions hanging out of it, stripy shirt. Yeah. yeah. But I had a great time, you know. I had a great time. I came back and uh, it is what it is, you know. Sometimes mm -hmm. that's, that's how it goes, you know. Uh, it's something that, you know, life throws you things you don't expect, you know. Mm -hmm. and we have to keep moving along. I, I think everybody's an expert at that. Everybody knows, we, we, you know, everybody has things in their lives that come up and go, and you gotta do what's, what, you, what you can, the it's, best. It's true. T tell me about your music. I mean, where it comes from, like who influenced you to put that band together? And yeah, stuff? you know, I, I have different tastes of music, man. I, I love, I've always been a fan of rockabilly. Uh, that was the first thing, rockabilly. I love the old country music and uh, um, I think Lalo Guerrero, the first time I heard Lalo Guerrero uh, was about, I, I, I'm thinking about 20 years ago, Viva Las Vegas, and, and um, we were in someone's car, we were high, and, and I heard this song, Marijuana Boogie, and man, I fell in love with it, because I was high. Too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, but, um, uh, and then I, you know, I got, eventually, we got to meet him, he, he played um, Space City Vintage, mm -hmm. City of Commerce years ago, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I got a chance to meet him, and then he um, he was singing, and he got tired, sat down, and and the guys, the Rhythm Rockets, were backing him up. They they knew I knew the song, and I got up there and I finished the song. 
sound terrible, but Lalo <laughs> made a beautiful gesture. He got up and gave me a hug. He said something to me. I honestly don't recall, but he said, "Get off, <laughs> <laughs> get off the stage." <laughs> but but yeah, he was an insp- he's been an inspiration to me. You know, I, I like I do like rhythm and blues. Um, I like mambos. I back in the Salvador when my dad uh, was younger, he used to while he worked. He, he used to play mambos on the radio, and, uh, and that's how I became a dancer too. He was a dancer, and so there's, there's a lot of different influences, you know. Um, Elvis Presley, obviously, but uh, I think with Los Diamantes, I had a different idea. I, I wanted to do more of um, the old, the, 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 the Latin rhythms, you know, mm-hmm. rambas and some mambos, and but you do have some rhythm and blues, man. And uh, you know, and and then and it's not just you know. I, I was more into the fifties, obviously, for a long time. And then when I heard Lalo Guerrero, I, I started to get deeper, you know, big band music. And it's just a lot harder to play, you know what I mean? At least, at least for me. And yeah. I'm still stuck with my guitar playing the old easier for me to play rockabilly or you know, rock and roll. Yeah, I, I seen Lalo Guerrero. I don't know if you remember one time in Culver City. Remember that club? Oh yeah, 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 F- yeah. Fidoro. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. I remember yeah. seeing Ali Guerrero there one time, yeah. and I've seen him a few times, but I, that one stood out because it was a really great show. That's great right. You know show. what? I, I was there too. I yeah. remember. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You were there. We were there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you um, to do a second song. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah okay. Pretty... What are you going to do? Well, being the fact that, you know what, again, going back to uh, what's going on in life right now, you, you, if you don't make an inventory check in your life about what, what's happening, you know, uh, this, this was really a, a wake up call to me, you know? Um, and uh, it makes me realize how, how valuable you know a lot of things are in family, my wife, you know, um, my kids, and um, um, being the fact that I don't I don't get to see my wife every day. Um, I'm gonna sing this song, and I hope I remember the words. <laughs> um, you are my sunshine. All right, and um, I dedicate this to my wife. She's always been a, a, an inspiration. You know, very. She pushes me to do my best and very gently, you know what I mean? And um, and I'm just grateful to have her, you know. Uh, we, we've all, I think, I, I hope that this is an encouragement for you to, and your family, you know, to, to know, learn how to uh, value them. And uh, if you failed, I failed many ways. I failed my family, everybody, you know. But here's a song. This was done by many artists, Jimmy Davis back in 1940. And I just added a new verse today, so I hope I remember. If I don't, we'll see what happens. I've been, I've been way too busy that I haven't picked up my guitar. So we're going to do it again, all right? The other night, dear, I silently sleeping. I dream I held you in my heart. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken. And I hung my head in the cry. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Come on. 
baby You are my sunshine, my only sunshine You make me happy when skies are gray You never know, dear, how much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away Let me hear the trumpet <laughs> it was good. It was good. Um, you know, when I was talking to Bebo and Omar, all the other acts that we've spoken to, we talked about the um, shows that have been lost by our artists. And um, off the top of my head, I remember your book for the Rhythm Riot in England this November. Yeah. So, you know, fingers crossed uh, that still happens. I think at the moment it's still on. But. It must hurt your income at the moment, Jose, with no shows at all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, um, I think uh, for a lot of people, a lot of musicians, you know, and um, that's why my wife has been telling me to get on, on the camera. And, you know, honestly, I, I just, I, I believe I, I feel like I failed, you know, in many ways because I, this is the, the what I love the most. And, 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 you know, unfortunately, you know, I got a big family, Rev. And, and I got family in Salvador and, and that I help financially. So mm -hmm. uh, it's not, I do all kinds, you know, I was doing all kinds of stuff, man. I, I music, you know, music, besides music, I was driving, man. I was doing all kinds of stuff, you know. Well, I, I want to jump in there because most people don't know this, but an amazing thing that Jose does is when your dad was alive, sadly, Jose lost his dad last year, yeah. yeah? Um, Jose would go to see his dad in El Salvador and then he would go to the prisons in El Salvador and entertain the prisoners. Now, I don't know much about El Salvador, but what Jose has told me, the last place in the world I would want to go to is an El Salvadorian prison. And Jose, which amazing credit to Jose, would go there and meet people and he would talk about God, but he would perform. And yeah. I, I think that's an amazing thing that you do, Jose. Amazing. Yeah, yeah you know what? The, the love for that started a long time ago. You know, I think when I, when I seen that movie with the uh, story about Johnny Cash, and um, as a matter of fact, the, the first guitar I owned, my mom got it for me around the corner from where we lived in in Salvador, and 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 it was made by a, uh, an inmate, someone that was locked up. He was making guitars, and it's amazing how things line up in life years later. And uh, yeah, I, I I've, I've got the privilege to sit down at a couple of places, and I you know I'm, I talk about God, I minister the word God, and you know I'm not a pastor or anything like that. I just I think for me it's like just knowing that mistakes I made in my life, where I winded up, I, I did make a few trips to jail, you know, and um, and and just knowing that there's people there that, you know, um, a lot of times people say, you know, um, once you go to jail, you, you, your life will never change, but uh, it's not true, you know, there's people that come out and they make a life, you know, Changes in our life, so yeah, that's something I'm gonna be. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna be doing more often is going to prisons here in LA because this is where I'm at right right now. Last year I went to visit my brother is locked up in Guatemala, Guatemala, and and um and I was trying to set up a concert there, and because uh, he he's a musician himself, but uh, I don't know what happened. We were never never able. There's no communication right now, you know. So, but that's something I love doing, you know. It's an amazing thing you do. Yeah, it really getting is. to prison, yeah. You know, you get you get in there, man, and you know, 
you get in there and you you go in there with you know you, you're like a puppy with the tail in between your legs man you you know you can be out here pretending you're all tough and, and you might be tough but you can get in there you know uh, you realize that you you're nothing you know so it's all about respect yeah so it's an amazing thing you do but like I said, I, I just want to remind people, hopefully Jose will perform at this year's Rhythm Ride in the UK. Yes, um, great. I'll be there myself. I'm looking forward to it. I think Giselle's coming with us as well. If yeah, I yeah, Giselle. Yeah, yeah. So, Giselle's coming. So it'll be fun. So um, you're working on the new album for, for the release on Wild. Um, yeah. You've got most of the album you said you think you've pulled together. So we've gone sort of the same direction as the first album, or what are you thinking? Yeah, um... Well, uh, there, there's a combination of different stuff, but it would definitely throw some jump loose there, you know, some, some boogies, All right, know, some of the Spanish, some of the old uh, uh, Mexican, you know, boogie, mm -hmm. you know, the, a lot of horns, you know, I mean, not a lot of horns, but, you know, saxophones and and uh, really looking forward to getting that trumpet player. But yeah, yeah. looking forward to that. And, and But also there, there's, there's been a, a project that I've been working on for a long time. It's, it's the gospel stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and... Uh, yeah, you know, and, 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 and we've done some recording here. Yeah. We've actually recorded yeah. a few yeah, numbers with Jose. We haven't released yet. Yeah. yeah, and it's just you know what? It's it's time for me. I I, I think um, now um, I'm, I realize I come to to realize how important music is. You know, and and I think myself I I, I went different ways. You know, I would start uh, you know clothing line. You know, I started clothing line, and 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 I had so many projects, and 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 I realized that you know what. I, I gotta focus on what I love the most, and that's music. And maybe that's why I'm gonna practice. But you know what? I, I I'm gonna um, I I owe it to God. You know, He's the talent giver to myself, to my wife, and my my family. So I'm gonna be focusing more on music, and um, you know, he, he, give me some time, man. We got well, yeah. something cooking right now. Yeah. So. You know, with the label, we're always very patient with our artists because we want you to come up with what what you feel is is a good representation yeah. of where you there's, are. There's some originals too. Actually, a lot of originals too, and you know that's something that people might be surprised. But yeah, there'll be a lot of originals. So that's great. Yeah. And myself and Jose, we are talking about releasing a very limited uh, seventy-eight. Yeah. That'd yeah. Be great. So, going to do two tracks on a seventy-eight format. We're looking at maybe at the most fifty copies, but. We, we'll promote that, but it's going to be something really fresh and exciting, you know. So, um, Jose, I'm going to ask you, if would you do one more song for us now? Yeah, sure. And I just want to again round up and, and uh, thank Jose for coming and spending time. You know, Jose, to me, is, is a person that gives me inspiration. Ho Jose come from a very tough background, had a tough life, went down some bad roads when he was younger, and it's an amazing thing to see how good a man Jose is and how considerate and kind he is for other people. And he, he actually really cares about people around him. And I know a lot of that is, is because of, of his religious beliefs, but also for being a good person. And uh, very proud of you being a good friend of mine, Jose. Yes, same here, Rev. You know, I'm, I'm grateful to be your friend. And uh, thank you, you know, uh, I'm grateful for everything, you know. I'm, you know. Thank you for the words, you know, I, 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 I want to make sure I make something clear that I'm still learning, I still make a lot of mistakes, but I, you know, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get much better uh, the way I am. Uh, it's a, another gospel song that uh, kind of hard to do with uh, drums, you know. <laughs> Give it a show. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. That one, you gotta kill that one. I'm going down to the riverside 
And uh, again, once again, don't forget support live music, support the artists you like. Uh, it'd be nice if you buy some product. We actually do have some uh, Pachuco Jose's first CD still available. And um, thanks for watching this. And remember, this is only a moment in time. Things will turn around and uh, we will live the lives we want to live again. Thank you. Yes. Appreciate everything you got. I'm learning to do that. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> oh man, what Very a good. flop. I messed up, man. Big